Question. DS. In the xy coordinate plane, does y equal to a times x squared plus 2 times b times x plus 3 times c intersect the x axis? Condition 1. b squared is greater than 3 times a times c. Condition 2. 4 times a is greater than c. Solution. Let's solve this ds question using the variable approach. Discriminant d equal to b squared minus 4 times a times c of y equal to a times x squared plus b times x plus c. Follow the first step of the variable approach by modifying and rechecking the original condition and the question. The question asks us to find whether y equal to a times x squared plus 2 times b times x plus 3 times c intersects the x-axis or not. The equation of the discriminant of y equal to a times x squared plus b times x plus c is d equal to b squared minus 4 times a times c. The parabola only intersects the x-axis when d is greater than or equal to 0. If d is greater than 0, the parabola intersects the x-axis at two points, and if d equal to 0, it intersects the x-axis at one point. Let's first figure out the discriminant of the equation y equal to a times x squared plus 2 times b times x plus 3 times c. If we plug the corresponding values into the formula for the discriminant, we get d equal to 2 times b whole squared minus 4 times a times 3 times c equal to 4 times b squared minus 12 times a times c that equal to 4 times whole of b squared minus 3 times a times c. Thus, let's look at condition 1 which tells us that b squared is greater than 3 times a times c or b squared minus 3 times a times c is greater than 0. By applying b squared minus 3 times a times c is greater than 0 to d equal to 4 times whole of b squared minus 3 times a times c, we know for sure the discriminant is greater than 0. Thus, condition 1 yields an answer of yes to the question. The answer is unique yes, so the condition is sufficient by CMT1, which states that the answer must be in terms of a unique yes or no. Condition 2 tells us that 4 times a is greater than c. We cannot determine whether d equal to 4 times whole of b squared minus 3 times a times c is greater than 0 or not. So the condition is not sufficient by CMT1, which states that the answer must be in terms of a unique yes or no. In this question, the answer is a based on the modification, which is the first step of the variable approach. Never forget the superiority of the variable approach. Condition 1 alone is sufficient. Thus, a is the correct answer. Answer a.